know I've been around and doing it But now it's my time to shine and start proving it I'm losing it, I'm moving it The city is where I'm made Bostonian flow, I kick it a back day Yeah, I got game, got in a fan way We the city of the champs, every sport we play Spit wetter than the harbor, yeah I'm flowing like the Charles I be speeding on this beat, call it turnpike miles Yeah, it's Google signing on, John to the Hancock And I'm always key, I'm ready to unlock I be doing big things, don't even have a deal Yeah, I battle through these Welcome back, everyone, to the newest edition of Once a Week. I'm Billy J. Lutis. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to all of the recent messages. The last two weeks have brought a lot of knowledge to you about how to direct your thoughts and also how to understand your own personal guidance system, which is your emotions. So you can take all of that and begin to live life at a high level and consistently stay there day in and day out. So if you haven't checked those messages out yet, then please be sure to after this one, because for today's message, I want to take all of that one step further to help you see how all of this is put into action so you can understand the effects that it can have for you in whatever area you choose. Because with everything that we've been going over, essentially, when it's all broken down, we've been learning how to focus ourselves and our thoughts for those new levels, for greater results, and for a greater feeling of joy in our lives. And what I wanted to do is find the people who have put this into action so you can see how it takes its effects and changes things for the better. And truthfully, there's so many people to choose from for this because we all do this. At one time or another, we all have honed in on something, but some have done it in such a way that it just sets them apart. And in my searches, two people stood out among the rest, and they're two people that we all most likely have some idea about. And the first is the great Michael Jordan. One of the greatest basketball players to play the game and someone who focused so much on winning and competition that every single aspect of his skill excelled to a new level. And then the second person falls right in line with Jordan. You'll see his number right here. And that is the late Kobe Bryant. Both of these guys became great because of their skill and success. But all of that stemmed from their own unfaltering ability to focus on what they were doing for as long as they needed to. They focused themselves until the workout, the game, or the job was done. And the funny thing is, is that if you've heard of either of these guys, that's what you've heard about. And it's their ability to do this. But all we're saying with their focus is that they didn't allow distractions to get to them and change the course of their results. They honed in for as long as they needed to, to get their results. That creates victory. That creates winning. That creates whatever they were focused on. And with everything that we've been going over the last few weeks, it has been leading us to this for you and your own results. Because if you think about it, how often do you get distracted? For the majority of us, it's very often. <laughs> With our phones and social media now, anything can distract you from that focus. If you take into account what we've gone over in recent weeks with the frequency and the vibration of our thoughts and how we're sending out a message to bring us to whatever we focus on, for better or for worse, what we focus on brings us a result. What we focus on essentially brings energy to our results. So we take all of that and we bring it back to Kobe and Michael. If they had an unfaltering ability to focus on what they were doing for as long as they needed to, which is a direct quote from their trainer, Tim Grover, they didn't waver. They didn't falter. They honed in. What that is saying in the deeper aspects, like we've dove into, is that they honed in on their frequency they hone their frequency, I should say, to the result of being the best as the outcome. And history shows that they became the best and achieved their outcome. They got their result. Those are two people that want their result no matter what. That's top level. But it shows our own capabilities as humans. They developed their gifts because they didn't let distractions hinder them. So we ask that question. The other thought, 
how often do we allow ourselves to get distracted? If we now know what focus is essentially doing with creating connection directly to the result that we want, but we get distracted, we are then cutting off that connection, that direct route, the result. Each time that we try and make that connection, then do something else, we cut off that energy, meaning that's taking longer for our results to show up. This is the deeper results of meditation and prayer. When you're meditating, you're focusing your mind on the outcome you want to bring into your life. And practicing, you build up your own ability to direct your thoughts and focus without distractions taking it away. It's a process, but it creates incredible results. So the question is, is that not what MJ and Kobe did in their training in their games? They focus their minds for the result. That's what meditation does. So bring it to you. If you look at MJ and Kobe, just as the people that developed this skill of focus, it shows that you can do the same for what you want. We know their results outwardly because they reached a level where we can see it. With you, if you are just starting the process, eventually you reach a level where people see it because you saw it for so long. You saw it in your mind. You saw the results until the results developed. It starts with deciding what to focus on and then doing your best to limit distractions for the time that you need. That's how anyone in history made history. <laughs> and if you take a step back and truly think about it, you can see the results for anyone when they have the ability to focus and hone in. In any business, you see it. For any athlete, you see it. For any student, for anyone pursuing some sort of a result, you begin to see the effects of their focus in other areas, or you see where their focus was, or lack of focus for that matter. So to bridge the gap between you and the greats like Kobe Bryant or Michael Jordan, they were consciously aware of where their minds went at all times. In every moment, they focus on the task at hand until the job was done. For you, the starting point is to realize that you are the one in control of your own mind. Last week, we discussed how this is the greatest tool and we direct it. When you can consciously direct your thoughts, which only you can do for you, you can move your way up the ladder and begin to feel better and begin to reach the result that you're searching for. And as I've said before, it all starts with a thought. You decide what that thought will be in any moment, and that, is, that specifically is consciously directing them. That's personal power. Kobe and MJ are just two examples of people who mastered this, and we see the success. Their desire was winning. You decide what your desire is, and you hone in on it. And at that point, you might become the next example of this process being proved to work because it does. But take that in, consciously direct your thoughts. This is a deep conversation, but it's showing you the switches that you can flip on for yourself to get to where you wanna be. Your goals, your results are waiting for you specifically. And when you focus in on them and you limit the distractions, you're well on your way. But I thank you guys for tuning into this week's message. If you haven't already, please subscribe to Once a Week and hit that thumbs up button below. And if you feel that this message could help someone else out, could help them hone in, to help them understand what focus is actually doing, share it to them. Why not help someone see their own ability to get from where they are to where they want to be? And if you or anyone you know is in need of a results coach to help you with this exact process and truly hone in, Go to BillyGLifeCoaching.com and you can set up a free strategy session with me and we'll dive in. Until next week, guys. You know I've been around and doing it, but now it's my time to shine and start proving it and losing it and moving it. The city is wearing me.